After studying this module, you shall be able to know what is genetic map, what are the various types of map, what is recombination frequency and how it is represented, what is frequency determination. Genetic mapping, gene mapping is any method used for determining the location of the relative distances between genes on a chromosome. The essence of all genome mapping is to place a collection of molecular markers onto their respective positions on the genome. Molecular markers come in all forms. Genes can be viewed as one special type of genetic markers in the construction of genome maps and map the same way as any other markers. Researchers begin a genetic map by collecting samples of blood or tissue from family members that carry a prominent disease or trait and family members that do not. Scientists then isolate DNA from the samples and closely examine it looking for unique patterns in the DNA of the family members who do carry the disease that the DNA of those who do not carry the DNA don't have. These unique molecular patterns in the DNA are referred to as polymorphisms or markers. The first step of building a genetic map are the development of genetic markers and a mapping population. Since the closer the two markers are on the chromosome, the more likely they are to be passed on to the next generation together. Therefore, the co-segregation pattern of all markers can be used to construct their order. With this in mind, the genotypes of each genetic marker are recorded for both parents and in each individual in the following generations. The quality of the genetic maps is largely dependent upon these two factors, the number of genetic markers on the map and the size of the mapping population. The two factors are interlinked as a larger mapping population could increase the resolution of the map and prevent the map being saturated. In genetic mapping, any sequence feature that can be faithfully distinguished from the two parents can be used as a genetic marker. Genes in this regard are represented by traits that can be faithfully distinguished between two parents. Their linkage with other genetic markers are calculated same way as if they are common markers and the actual gene loci are then bracketed in the region between the two nearest neighboring markers. This process is then repeated by looking at more markers that target that region to map the gene neighborhood to a higher resolution until the specific causative locus can be identified. This process is often referred to as positional cloning and used extensively in the study of plant species. Let us understand the uses of gene mapping. Identification of genes is usually the first step in understanding a genome of a species. Mapping of the gene is usually the first step of identification of the gene. Gene mapping is usually the starting point of many important downstream studies. Disease association, the process to identify a genetic element that is responsible for a disease is also referred to as mapping. If the locus in which the search is performed is accordingly considerably constrained. The search is called the fine mapping of a gene. This information is derived from the investigation of disease 
manifestations in large families also known to be genetic linkage or from popularization based genetic association studies let us understand generating a genetic map alfred stewart was the first to develop genetic map he proposed that if the distance between the link genes is greater than there is a greater chance that the sister chromatids will cross over the map distance between two genes is centered on frequency of recombination between two genes this distance is expressed in terms of genetic map unit let us learn about the types of map the various types of genetic maps are dna sequencing cytogenetic maps genetic linkage map genome sequencing we will discuss now each one first is dna sequencing dna sequencing is the process of determining the precise order of nucleotides within a dna molecule it includes any method or technology that is used to determine the order of four bases that is adenine guanine cytosine and thymine in a strand of dna the advent of rapid dna sequencing methods has greatly accelerated biological and medical research and discovery knowledge of dna sequences has become indispensable for basic biological research and in numerous applied fields such as medical diagnosis biotechnology forensic biology virology and biological systematics the rapid speed of sequencing attained with the modern dna sequencing technology has been instrumental in the sequencing of complete dna sequence or genomes of numerous types and species of life including the human genome and other complete dna sequences of many animal plant and microbial species the first dna sequence were obtained in the early 1970s by academic researchers using laborious method based on two dimensional chromatography following the development of fluorescence based sequencing methods with automated analysis dna sequencing has become easier and orders of magnitude faster now we will learn about the cytogenetic map genetics is a branch of biology that studies the science of genes and heredity genes corresponding to regions of genome which is made up of dna dna is packed in small organelles called chromosomes for proper segregation of genetic material cytogenetic refers to the microscopic analysis of chromosomes in individual cells genomics refers to the detailed molecular analysis of entire genome cytogenetic and genomics studies can be performed on fresh blood bone marrow parental specimens and solid tissue specimens and 
on fixed specimens a chromosome and genome analysis is considered an essential component of the important workup for individuals with congenital malformations mental retardation multiple spontaneous miscarriages or infertility and for individuals with hematologic neoplasms and solid tumors information about genetic abnormalities in cancer patients can be particularly useful for establishing a diagnosis for disease classification and monitoring as well as for treatment diseases there are some examples of the main types of analysis performed in the laboratory g bending cryotype analysis interface fluorescence in situ hybridization and chromosome microarray analysis after studying about cytogenetic maps now we will be studying about genetic linkage map a genetic linkage map is a genetic map of a species or experimental population that shows the position of its known gene or genetic markers relative to each other in terms of recombination frequency rather than a specific physical distance along each chromosome linkage mapping is critical for identifying the location of genes that causes genetic diseases a genetic map is a map based on the frequencies of recombination between markers during crossover of homologous chromosomes the greater the frequency of recombination or segregation between two genetic markers the further apart they are assumed to be conversely the lower the frequency of recombination between the markers the smaller the physical distance between them historically the markers originally used were detectable phenotypes such as enzyme production or eye color derived from coding dna sequences eventually confirmed or assumed non coding dna sequences such as microsatellites or those generating restriction fragment length polymorphisms that is also known to be rflps have been used genetic maps help researchers to locate other markers such as other genes by testing for genetic linkage of the already known markers a genetic map is not a physical map such as a radiation reduced hybrid map or gene map it was discovered by british geneticist william betson it rebecca and punnett immediately after the rediscovery of mendel's law genetic linkage work and its understanding was explored by morgan work which says that the amount of crossing over between the linked gene differ which led to the idea of 
क्रॉस ओवर फ्रीक्वेंसी अ जेनेटिक मैप इज बेस्ड ऑन दी फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ रिकॉम्बिनेशन ड्यूरिंग क्रॉस ओवर ऑफ होमोलोगस क्रोमोजोम मोर इज द अकरेंस ऑफ रिकॉम्बिनेशन बिटवीन द मार्कर्स मोर विल बी द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देम लोअर द रिकॉम्बिनेशन बिटवीन मार्कर्स द लेसर इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देम नाउ वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट रिकॉम्बिनेशन फ्रीक्वेंसी इट इज a major of genetic linkage used to create genetic map the unit used for recombination frequency is centimorgan that is cm recombination frequency represented by theta the genetic distance between two loci can be measured in this way physical crossing over during meiosis first is a normal event the effect of this event is to rearrange heterozygous homologous chromosomes into new combinations the term used for crossing over is recombination recombination can occur between any two genes on a chromosome the amount of crossing over is a function of how close the genes are to each other on the chromosome if two genes are far apart for example at opposite ends of the chromosome cross over and non cross over events will occur in equal frequency genes that are closer together undergo fewer crossing over events and non crossover gametes will exceed then the number of crossover gametes finally for two genes are right next to each other on the chromosome crossing over will be very rare event two types of gametes are possible when following genes on the same chromosomes if crossing over does not occur the products are parental gametes if crossing over occurs the products are recombinant gametes the allelic composition of parental and recombinant gametes depends upon whether the original cross involved genes in coupling or repulsion phase it is usually a simple matter to determine which of the gametes recombinant these are the gametes that are found in the lowest frequency this is direct result of reduced recombination that occurs between two genes that are located close to each other on the same chromosome also by looking at the gametes that are most abundant you will be able to determine if the original cross was a coupling or repulsion phase cross for a coupling phase cross the most prevalent gametes will be those with two dominant alleles or those with two recessive alleles for repulsion phases crosses gamete containing one dominant and one recessive allele will be most abundant understanding this fact will be important when you actually calculate a linkage distance estimate from your data the important question is how many recombinant chromosomes will be produced if the genes are far apart on the chromosome a crossover will occur every time 
that pairing occurs and an equal number of parental and recombinant chromosomes will be produced. Test cross data will then generate a 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio. But as two genes are closer and closer on the chromosome, fewer cross over events will occur between them and thus fewer recombinant chromosomes will be derived. We then see a deviation from the expected 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio. How can we decide how close two genes are on a chromosome? Because fewer crossover events are seen between two genes physically close together on a chromosome. But the lower the percentage of recombinant phenotypes will be seen in the test cross data. By definition, one MAP unit is equal to 1% recombinant phenotypes in honor of the work performed by Morgan. One MU is also called one centimorgon. Now, let us learn about genomic sequencing. Whole genomic sequencing, also known to be full genomic sequencing, complete genome sequencing, or entire genome sequencing, is a laboratory process that determines the complete DNA sequence of an organism's genome at a single time. This entails sequencing of an organism's chromosomal DNA as well as DNA contained in the mitochondria and for plants in the chloroplast. Whole genome sequencing should not be confused with DNA profiling which only determines the likelihood that genetic material came from a particular individual or group and does not contain additional information or genetic relationships, origin or susceptibility to specific disease. Also unlike full genome sequencing, SNP genotyping covers only less than 0.1% of the genome. Almost all truly complete genomes are of microbes. The term full genome is thus sometimes used loosely to mean greater than 95%. The remainder of this article focuses on the early complete human genomes. High throughput genome sequencing technologies have largely been used as a research tool and are currently being introduced in the clinics. In the future of personalized medicine, whole genome sequence data will be an important tool to guide therapeutic intervention. The tool of gene sequencing at SNP level is also used to pinpoint functional variants from association studies and improve the knowledge available to researchers interested in evolutionary biology and hence may lay the foundation for predicting disease susceptibility and drug response. Also by aligning the sequenced genomes can be obtained somatic mutations reduced as base substitutions. Genome sequencing is sometimes mistakenly referred to as genome mapping by non-biologists. The process of shotgun sequencing resembles the process of physical mapping. It shatters the genome into small fragments, characterize each fragment and put them back together. More recent sequencing technologies are drastically different. While 
the scorpus and process are totally different a genome assembly can be viewed as the ultimate form of physical map in that it provides all information that a traditional physical map can offer in a much better way now let us understand about the cells used for sequencing almost any biological sample containing a full copy of the dna even a very small amount of dna or ancient dna can be provide the genetic material necessary for full genome sequencing such samples may include saliva epithelial cells bone marrow hair as long as the hair contains of hair follicle seeds plant leaves or anything else that has dna containing cells the genome sequence of a single cell selected from mixed population of cells can be determined using techniques of single cell genome sequencing this has important advantage in environmental microbiology in cases where a single cell of a particular microorganism species can be isolated from a mixed population by microscopy on the basis of its morphological or other distinguishable characteristics in such cases the normally necessary steps of isolation and growth of the organism in culture may be omitted thus allowing the sequencing of a much greater spectrum of organism genomes single cell genome sequencing is being tested as a method of pre implantation genetic diagnosis wherein a cell from embryo created by in vitro fertilization is taken and analyzed before embryo transfer into the uterus after implantation cell free fetal dna can be taken by simple veni picture from the mother and used for whole genome sequencing of the fetus lastly moving on to summary of all that we have studied about genetic mapping genetic mapping is also known as genome mapping it is a genetic map which assigns several dna fragments to chromosome genetic mapping make use of techniques like pedigree analysis to determine the sequence uses of genetic mapping to identify genes responsible for traits to detect genes that are responsible to cause disease types of map dna sequencing dna sequencing is the process of determining the precise order of nucleotides within a dna molecule genome sequencing whole genome sequencing also known as full genome sequencing complete genome sequencing or entire genome sequencing is a laboratory process that determines the complete dna sequence of an organism's genome at a single time this entails sequencing of all organisms chromosomal dna as well as dna contained in the mitochondria and for plants in the chloroplast genetic linkage map and cytogenetic map a cytogenetic map is the visual appearance of a chromosome when stained and examined under a microscope particularly important are visually distinct regions called light and dark bands which give each of the chromosomes unique appearance this feature allows a person's chromosomes to be studied in a clinical test known as a karyotype which allows scientists to look for chromosomal alterations what is recombination frequency it is a measure of genetic linkage used to create genetic map the unit used for recombination frequency is centimorgan or cm recombination frequency is represented by theta physical crossing over during meiosis 1 is a normal event the effect of this event 
is to rearrange heterozygous homologous chromosomes into new combinations. The term used for crossing over is recombination. Recombination can occur between any two genes on a chromosome. The amount of crossing over is a function of how close the genes are to each other on the chromosome. If two genes are far apart, for example, at opposite ends of the chromosome, crossover and non-crossover events will occur in equal frequency. Genes that are closer together undergo fewer crossing over events and non-crossover gametes will exceed then the number of crossover gametes.